2014 Austin Poetry Society Contest. Prize-winning poems by Diana L. Consus. Photographs by Betty Helene Williams. Approaching Perihelion, Austin Poetry Society Award First Prize. Approaching Perihelion, the light changes. Paprika and turmeric dust shimmers with nearness in the faded dance of celestial bodies. Once in a blue moon, once upon a time, once there was light, and in the Book of God all things read their destinies. Grass pummeled up through the rock, a thousand thousand nameless flowering things brawled in the meadow morning. There were even rhinoceroses in algebra, and the methodical calculation of the inevitable, the past and the future, and that hard, thin gold horizon between. The planets move, of course. The fine dust settles. Receding perihelion, the light trails behind the passing summer like a veil embroidered with pearls. In the gathering night, each cold star a promise and a reproach. Fleeting the chill, fleeting the peace, distance is fleeting, perihelion approaching. Hiking in Patagonia The Owls Are Not What They Seem Award, Second Prize this award is for poems that celebrate not adhering to society's norms while still having a sense of community. The children of love and dreams dance along the open mouth of the Diemphis de Navarino, following the faded footprints and carefully balanced cairns of a community of travelers they'll never meet, up the sliding incisors to knock on the door of God. Far below the slippery forest, the rocky stream has carried his pain and her cancer in the purity of melted snow to the bottom of the world. Above the tree line there is only snow and sky, each other in the song rising through the mountain's throat, an invisible chorus of those who have climbed before, an aria of love and dreams that joins time and continents. Lottery Ticket, the I'm a Little Teapot Award second prize. This award is for poems that were written from the point of view of an inanimate object. Do you remember that moment when you and I believed hard in the future, in the magic of birthdays and high school locker combinations? That moment when dreams came dancing like angels on the edge of some second sight? Such plans we had bursting out like popcorn, each on top of each, jostling their neighbors for primacy. Fine things and grand gestures, noble charity and deserved indulgence. We had them all, you and I. I was never far from your thoughts or fingertips until the magic failed. The angels proved to be dust and fading light. And in the death of your dreams, you saw not the myriad glittered possibilities that were, but a crumpled piece of paper. Physicist Gaze, the Who Me Award, third prize. This award is for poems that do not use the first person. Watch her dance, a steady and centripetal force, ankle anchored and arm flowing. Calculate the balance of acceleration and gravity as her bare back arches. Trace the curve along the elliptical as momentum teases open a thigh. Feel the pull of angular velocity as she rises around her axis of symmetry and one pinch of toe blurs by. Ponder all the strange forces acting on and governing bodies in motion. An unreasoning fear of drowning. The Moving On Award, third prize. Fear swirl the waters over the edge of the known. Stir it up. The mud at the bottom of your heart rises, particulate here. Each grain hovers, then falls, tracing seraphs of ifs to linger. Shadows of what might become are, for a moment, luminescent. Feel all those maybe deaths, and someday you'll forget you may be alive. Still, the pool swirls with maybe mud. You may be dying, it may be an abyss, it may be a puddle. 
Only a step proves what is. Only a step and the will to take it. In your body is the Garden of Flowers. The John and Diana Schleising Award, Honorable Mention. This award was for a poem about flowers. Time pauses in your glance, and your eyes blossom. Hydrangea petals sparkle in the swirl of beauty blowing through the gate of your lips. Love pulses through the stem. Strange photosynthesis quickens the emerald flowering of beauty as it travels down, down to the tangled hunger of roots in the fertile soil of your heart. Evening's Last Rabbit, the Connecting with Nature Award, Honorable Mention. I wrote this poem for Bruce, who likes to go into the field at dusk and look for rabbits. Across the field at dusk he stood, as day slipped through the closing blue, the tender breeze between them blew, and dancing shadows slipped the woods to tickle rabbit's ears. He would have bolted, frightened, deep into the waiting thicket the still boy knew, and willed him patient as he could. So stopped in motion, boy and rabbit are poised to flee the innocence of childhood for uncertain youth, where fear first learns to be a habit and wonder wars with vigilance as golden dreams die into truths. They say a dream, the Crossing Over Award Honorable Mention. This contest was for poems about bridges, physical or metaphorical. There is always that moment in the dream when the bridge extends past sight a thousand faltering steps behind, the first step long since passed into legend, the final step so far as to be indistinct, masked in fog and full of portent. Either shore irretrievable you pause, one foot hovering over the creaking planks. A chill wind sways that fragile umbilical, and your hands clench the rotting ropes as the space of two hundred frantic heartbeats pulls your eyes down to the jagged rocks and churning waters. All it takes is one step, made another thousand times, one step you cannot make yourself take. In the swirl of gray water, fear and death, the gravity of the moment shatters the plank. Time hangs suspended by a leisurely rattling thread, and just for a moment the web suspends you between past and future life and death before you screaming plummet to the other side of dreams.